What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the normal video for my channel. I am not doing an install video or a product review or any off-roading or anything like that. However, it still does involve the Tacoma and that's probably why you still clicked on this video anyway. So I hope you stick around and watch the whole video because this is going to be a pretty interesting little two or three part series that I'm going to be doing on the channel. So to throw out a little bit of context for this video and this short video series that I'm going to be doing a few months ago, I stumbled across a YouTube video talking about a dumpster rental business that someone started up, the person with the YouTube channel decided to start a dumpster rental business. And I've always been pretty interested in entrepreneurial opportunities and, you know, starting a small business and making some additional income. So I'm always interested in those types of opportunities. And this one really piqued my interest because of how simple the business structure was and how simple it seemed to actually get into this business. So after seeing that video, I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of research about starting up a small business and go ahead and get into this dumpster rental business on a pretty small scale. So that's what I did. I went ahead and started up a small LLC for this business so that I was protected from a liability standpoint. I got all of the proper permits and licenses that I needed as well as the insurance and whatnot. So I was ready to rock and roll for this business. The last thing that I needed was a dumpster trailer. So in today's video, I'm actually going to pick up a dump trailer that I will be using for this business. And don't worry my Tacoma people, my Toyota people, like I said, this video series is going to involve the Tacoma. I'm gonna be using it to tow this trailer and haul this junk. So hopefully you guys end up enjoying this short little video series. It's not gonna be something that's gonna last a long time. I actually considered starting up a second channel for this, but we'll talk about why I ended up kind of killing that idea and just throwing it on this channel but that'll be in one of the later videos. So I hope you guys stick around and watch this video. Drop a like on it if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's go ahead and get right into the video. I am on my way to go pick up a dump trailer for my new dumpster rental business that I'm starting up. I'm super excited to go pick up this trailer. I've been searching for months, literal months, to try to find a trailer. And the market's just so crazy right now that everything's getting snatched up so fast. Uh, there, if you don't know, with COVID, there's a huge material shortage, so these trailer companies aren't able to pump out as many trailers as they were pre-COVID, so they're kind of hard to find right now, if I'm being honest. Uh, there's definitely places that have them. Some are exorbitant prices that they're just inflated like crazy, but I think I found a pretty good deal on a trailer, so stick around for the rest of the video. I will do a full overview of the trailer I'm getting. Alright, so all of the paperwork is done. They're gonna get it pulled over for me in a second and get me all hooked up and set up to go. So we're almost done there. guys trailers on not sure if you can uh, kind of see it behind me but got about an hour and a half drive home and then I will see if we can get an overview of the trailer for you guys uh, people at that trailer dealership were pretty awesome it went very smoothly didn't take too long so I'm pretty pumped about it and I got a pretty good deal so I'm, I'm happy about it but yeah I will uh, update if anything crazy happens on the drive back hopefully not and hopefully it's smooth you know, the truck feels good with it right now. It doesn't feel like it's pulling very heavy, which is awesome. So I'm pumped.
All right, guys, so I'm home. As you can kind of see behind me, I have the trailer parked kind of badly in the driveway. Uh, tires are chalked. It's not hooked up to the truck, obviously. At the moment, I'm actually cutting a little bit more wood, uh, some 4x4s to go under the jack for the trailer so that it's a little bit more stable. So I'm going to do a quick walk around of the trailer. Okay, guys, so hopefully... The uh, dead cat on my mic is good enough to block out the wind. It is a super windy day and it was very, very windy on the drive home, but the trailer tracked very true, very straight on the way home and I had no issues getting home, which is awesome. But let's talk about the trailer real quick. It is a 6x10 triple crown, as you can see on the side there. Dual axle, uh, 7,000 pound GVWR with each axle being able to hold up to 3,500 pounds. Moving on to the back of the trailer, it's just a simple latch here holding on. I think I'm going to need to hammer this down a little bit, maybe grease it up to make sure it closes all the way and if I want to lock it or whatever, but for now it's okay. Uh, to open the door, you just pull this latch up, twist it, and just kind of put it down. As you can see, like this part here just kind of locks in here once you turn it, so pretty secure, but opening the door there's this little hole on top which lines up with this latch up here and then your door is latched properly so obviously you're going to want to do that when you are dumping the stuff in the trailer so your doors aren't swinging because I've seen from other videos these are pretty prone to snapping off if you don't have it latched properly so it's one thing I will definitely look out for. The thing I really like about this trailer is that it has the little extension pockets where you can shove a two by four in there and you know kind of build up the wall a little bit more it is a pretty deep wall already i think i want to say it's two foot so it's pretty deep um you know this is only like a four yard trailer so definitely going to be on the smaller side for like residential cleanouts and whatnot but i think it's a good size to start with especially since at the moment i'm towing with the tacoma so uh, we don't want to get much bigger than this and allow people to fill it up too heavy. Moving up front here, uh, you can see what I was talking about, 7,000 pound GVWR and axles, 3,500 pounds each. And then it lists the tires and the rims, which is nice because I will definitely need to get a spare at some point. In addition to that, made in America, made in the USA, which is awesome. Love to see that. It is a 2 and 5 16 coupler, so uh, I actually had to get a new hitch for that, which is down there. It has all three. I think I'm going to need to get a drop hitch because as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can really tell, but it's angled up a little bit and this was the angle I took it off of the truck. So I want to uh, flatten it down a little bit just so it's sitting level, especially when towing. And before you comment on my sketchy block of wood here, that's just a cut pallet. I'm actually in the process right now of cutting some more wood. This is a four x four. So once I get this cut, this is going to go under there and it will be a little bit more stable and less sketchy, which is always good. Moving into the box here. That opens up real nice. I did get the battery with it, which cost me $124 at the dealer. Probably could have gone without that, but you know, they installed it for me and everything. So that's nice. Um, in addition, you know, you just have your motor in here with your up down. I'm not going to do it, but just trust me, it goes up nice and smooth. I did it a couple times while I was parked in the street. But yeah, so this is a nice little weatherproof box and at some point I'll probably get like some type of tracking system just to, you know, protect my investment, which is always good to do. And then one final note about this trailer, it unfortunately did not come with the cover that you put over, you know, the tarp system. So I'm gonna have to look out for one of those. Uh, hopefully I can get one, it's not too expensive. But if not, I'll just, you know, kind of start out with a big tarp and bungee cord it down or whatever but overall super happy about the trailer it was hard to find as i said you know the huge material shortage right now they're pretty hard to find so i'm glad i was able to get my hands on one it was the last one at the dealership and the person at the dealership was nice enough to hold it for me for a day so shout out to r and r so that is the trailer guys i'm super excited to have it as you could probably kind of tell, this is all new to me, having a trailer, specifically a dump trailer. I can't wait to get used to it, get used to driving it, and most importantly, get used to backing it up. Hopefully I get a little better at that. I'll need to do a little bit of practice, but that's okay. Um, I'm confident enough to be able to pull it into someone's driveway, just maybe not perfectly straight, so I'm gonna need to work on that.
So as you just saw, I decided to go for it and try to just park it in the garage and it worked out. I felt a lot more comfortable the second go around. So I think I'll pick up on the backing pretty quick. However, I did use the whole driveway. So I think at least to start, if I'm dropping off a trailer in someone's driveway, I'm going to ask them to make sure the driveway is clear of cars if that's where they want it. Uh, but yeah, overall we're good. It's in the garage. It'll probably stay here for a little while until I finish getting the business set up and start taking on customers. So as you guys just saw, I picked up the dump trailer that I'm gonna be using for my dumpster rental business. In the next video, I actually get my first dumpster rental customer. So I'm gonna go through the whole process of that and getting that first customer, dropping off the trailer, getting it filled up with junk and taking it to the dump. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much. I hope you liked it. Make sure to hit that like button if you did like it, if you're enjoying this video series that I'm starting up. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The next one's gonna be pretty interesting, so make sure to stick around for that, and I'll catch you in the next one.